Hi everyone, I'm Lisa Copeland, the dating coach who makes finding love after 50 fun and easy. I want to welcome you to day four of our seven day challenge, Never Be Alone Again. In yesterday's challenge, we talked about how you can go up to men and feel comfortable doing it. We also talked about how to make a man feel safe to approach you. Today we're going to talk about how to get a man to ask you for your phone number. Now, a lot of women feel that men have all the power, and they do if you don't know how to lead them to ask you out. One of the things that happens, though, is a lot of women go on to a first-time approach of a man or even a first date, and they think the man is like the best thing ever, and their energy becomes intense because they think, oh my God, I have to get this date. And what ends up happening is you move forward with your energy, which feels uncomfortable to a man. I'm sure you've had a man do this to you too, and you pull back just like he will. So what you want to do is you don't want to be vested in a guy. You just want to get to know new and interesting things about him and lead you to ask you out if you like him. And that's where your power lies. Also, men want to pursue you. And that's why it's so important to know how to lead them this way. So I'm going to give you three ways to lead them. And we're going to start with dropping hints. What does this mean? Bring the conversation around to something that you really like. Let's say going to the movies. See if he likes going to the movies too, somewhere in that conversation. Then start talking about the latest blockbuster out and say, oh my God, I would love to go see that. What you're really saying is, hint, hint, ask me out because you like movies and I like movies. You can do that with restaurants too. And you can say, I heard this new restaurant open up and I've been dying to go. Again, hint, hint, ask me out. The second way you can get a man to ask you out is by letting him know you're really interested in him and you have fun being around him. Now, when you're talking with men, you always want to do this gentle touch of their arm or of their leg. That is flirting. So when you're talking, you would go something like, this has been the best conversation I have ever had. You are so much fun to talk with. You're letting them know, I'm interested in you. I like spending time around you. Ask me out. These are all ways to lead him. The third way to lead him is to get up when the conversation is really going. Now, you don't just stand up. What you do is you look at your watch or your phone and you go, Oh my God, I didn't realize what time it was. I have to meet my friend or whatever excuse you want to use. And then you say, I really love talking with you and I would love to continue this. What you're saying is, ask me out, get my phone number if you like talking with me too. These are all ways to lead men. Now let's say it doesn't work, okay? I don't want you to quit because the man might have been married the man might have been dating someone. The man might have thought you were great but didn't want to ask you out. Or the man was afraid to ask you out. This is a skill you're going to practice. I promise you every time you do it, it's going to get easier and you're going to get better at it. So keep practicing it. Keep talking with men, approaching men, and leading them and see how it goes for you. Now in tomorrow's challenge, we're going to talk about your profile and how to get a man to say, oh, she's talking about me. I have to write her. Until then, I will talk to you tomorrow. Go out and use what you're learning. See you tomorrow. Bye.